Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Four Strategy Gaming. Going to be casting another game for you today. One game for you today between Liquid's Hey Pro and Grace Pro. So, Hey Pro vs. Pros, Terran vs. Zerg here on Metalopolis. Should be a great game. Before we get into that, though, going to just talk about a couple of things. Now, I do want to let you know, I know that over the past couple of days I've casted series, and again, today is just going to be a single game cast. So, sorry for the, the lack in comparison to the other couple of days uh, in content. But aside from that, I did make that announcement video video not too long ago uh, earlier today talking about how we're going to be featuring other casters here on Force Strategy Gaming. So aside from my cast today, there's going to be at least one more cast from another caster in the community. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you enjoy his content, make sure you know check out his channel and all that jazz. It'd be really great. Um, appreciate all the support. Again, I'm trying to help out other casters in the community, trying to get their names out there uh, because there's some really great people out there. And I think that uh, it'd be nice. You know, I, Again, I'm really appreciative of, of the 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 position that I'm in and the, the fame and not the fame and fortune, but uh, <clears throat> the recognition that Force Strategy Gaming has been getting. Just really happy with everything. And I, again, I can't, can't thank you guys enough uh, for supporting me and everything that I do. It's uh, really appreciate it. I get a little teary eyed here. But, anyways, looking forward to this game right now. Again, uh, Terran vs. Zurich here on Metalopolis should be exciting. Uh, Pro's coming down with his first barracks right now. Pretty standard stuff. Going to be seeing if that refinery is coming up or not. And I think he might hold off. Uh, he knows he's against a Zurich player. He knows his opponent is Hey Pro. And so, whether or not, d depending on whether or not he sees a quick expansion from his opponent, that may sway his decision as to what he does if he goes for early refinery to tech up or if he goes for double barracks or anything like that so moving forward he does see that expansion i believe he just saw yes he did so moving by he saw that expansion and it'll check this out look what happened pro is immediately dropping that second barracks right there so deciding to go for that two racks push also considering the position very very close position he can make full use of this early marine pressure here uh, most certainly now Looks like Hey Pro is going to be moving out with this drone scout, and he's going to be heading straight to Pro's base immediately. So he's going to know that this two racks pressure is coming, and he's going to do what he can to respond properly. He needs to make sure that he doesn't die early to Marines and SCVs. Typically, a push is followed with a couple of SCVs at the very least, and some bunker placement. Trying to kill this SCV, trying to disrupt and sway back and push back this push as much as possible. And we can see pretty standard stuff so far. Pretty quick expansion from Hey Pro. Also, there is that spawning pool. No extractor yet, and that's probably, I'm going to say that that's large largely in part due to the fact that he saw this double racks pressure he wants to save his early minerals for things like spine crawlers for trying to stop this early push keeping this drone out here it's going to allow him uh, to see any sort of bunker placement that is of course what he wants to avoid if at all possible so hatchery just about finished right now going to be popping up in just one moment and here we go here comes that push from pros and pros taking a lot of scvs pros really dedicated to this push right now bringing down a ton of scvs deciding hey bringing down the mule probably wouldn't be the best idea so pushing forward with three marines and a bunch of SCVs. Now this drone forward spotting definitely saw that coming and here comes the spine crawler. We do have 12 Zerglings in route right now as well. A bunch of drones going to be moving now to transfer down the mineral line as well to help with this defense though. He wants to make sure the spine crawler gets up and on the other half of that pros wants to make sure that that spine crawler doesn't get up and you know what? Deciding hey this is probably isn't the best idea. Pros is going to be returning home with a bunch of these SCVs so seven SCVs don't have to fight this particular fight. They don't have to fight the good fight today but two SCVs are going to be staying out. They are troopers. They say I want to help with this i want to win i want the dominion to reign victorious and coming down with this bunker over here going to be trying to get in a nice position repositioning the spine crawler but moving forward with those zerglings as well as those drones a couple of queens as well look at this micro here from pros move move shoot move shoot he's going to be pushing back and trying to do as much damage as possible without getting surrounded by the zerglings and this is phenomenal work here by pros excellent job of keeping those marines alive wonderful micro there by him i am pretty impressed with that again what you can saw is he kept pushing back and pressing that stop button and what that does is it makes him shoot the closest target and it prevents surround and lets you fire faster than you typically would be able to it actually outfires the uh, the shooting animation and that's the idea there that's the exact point behind it and that is what excellent micro can do for you in this game now zergling's gonna be moving forward trying to surround these marines again but here we go some more micro here from pros trying to stay away and stop that surround from those zerglings that's exactly what he needs to do and he's doing a great job of it one marine in the back feeling pretty safe and i think he might take out all of these zerglings some great micro again you can see out firing that shooting animation and yes he does he takes out all the zerglings so due not to the unit matchup itself but due to some wonderful micro there pros managed to take out all of those zerglings from hey pro so great job by him now at this point hey pro has taken quite a bit of loss now i know he hasn't taken much economic damage and obviously he didn't lose his hatchery but he was forced to use all that larva on all of those zerglings and as a result ended up losing them as well now gonna be uh, seeing a proper follow-up here from pros basically this is what you expect to see 
with early two racks pressure typically what happens is we get the early two racks push you do what you can for economic damage you force your zerg opponent to spend larva on zerglings instead of on drones thusly hurting his economy and then you follow it up with a fast expansion yourself and this puts you in a really solid position now there are two possible follow-ups to this we either see lots of barracks drop down or we see a tech up now based on these two refineries placed right here i'm going to assume that we're going to be seeing a tech up here trying to push forward hey pro was trying to get a good idea of what was going on he saw that expansion he also saw this fortification up here with these two bunkers and these barracks placed right in front of them as well um so good job here by pros at this point hey pro is fully aware of what's going on I'm gonna be coming down with that metabolic boost right now as well now, as I was saying, based on the fact that we do have these two refineries dropped right here, um, I'm going to assume there is a tech up, and there, in fact, is the factory. So there's two different options. Um, I personally, if I go for this two racks pressure against a Zerg opponent, I like to st hold off on the refineries for just a bit and literally drop like five or six barracks. With the expansion, you can support them. You get some attachments on there. You get the upgrades like stim pack, combat shield, concussive shell, and then you do a follow-up push with Marine, Marauder, and SCV, and it can be pretty devastating for a Zerg player. Now, uh, hey, pro looks like he's preparing for that possibility exactly what i was talking about we can see the bailing's nest that of course would help with that heavy marine marauder push but again pros is going to be deciding to tech up getting a tech lab here on this factory also coming out the starport so making full use of that vespian gas here's another refinery going down over here as well coming out with some uh, damage upgrades there for his marines and marauders and all those ground units um so nice little fortification though i'm pretty impressed with this and a good idea too is if he does end up coming out with siege shanks let's see if he decides to do that Yes, we do have siege tanks coming out, so this is a nice setup for siege tanks. You have siege tanks up here, you have siege tanks even in this direction. It's going to cover this part of your expansion from those melee units, the Zerglings and the Banelings, and it's going to be pretty hard to get to them. It's going to be pretty difficult to get them. You can see the Marines standing guard over here as well, so really nice positioning. I do like this setup from pros, pretty impressed with that. We do have a bunch of Banelings sitting right here for a hey pro. So hey pro, going to be trying to bust that wall. He does know that wall is there. He's fully expecting of that. Ton more Zerglings coming out, so hey pro, definitely looking for some follow-up aggression to what he had to deal with with earlier Bailey is going to be moving forward going to be going for that engineering bay trying to take out that engineering bay wild is researching also going to be moving over trying to take out the depot and the barracks but no the depot and the barracks do not drop the bunker does drop but the marines inside actually end up living and we're going to be getting a repair here from pros and at that point we did see hapro pull back uh, going to be re rallying his forces trying to get some additional bailings out as well so hapro definitely planning on pushing in you can see at this point not droning up at all not expanding at this point he is spending all of his larvae on zerglings going to be spending a lot of resources on getting these bailings out as well and i'm not sure that that's gonna be the great greatest thing in the world for him we can see siege mode just about finished right now for pros his siege tanks gonna be moding up right there gonna be sieging up right there uh we do have the starport out and what is over here we've got a viking so gonna be moving around probably trying to pick off some overlords we do have some overlords in prime positions right there would make for easy pickings but look at all of these banelings and speedlings this is gonna be really tough for pros to deal with i think the one thing in his advantage again is this great i mean it's difficult to get to these tanks here without taking massive damage in route your zerglings either have to go through here or go through here the banelings going to be trying to bust through this wall but even they are going to take fire before they actually reach the wall you can see that mode just at that range so it's going to hit some banelings before they can get in and kill a few of them as well so really good job but this is a lot of units so again i am not sure quite how this is going to turn out right now for pros lots and lots of banelings we can see 16 banelings 63 zerglings right now to 23 marines and two tanks it's really going to be dependent on how that tank fire goes and what he can do here we go hey pro is going to be moving up right now moving down with the banelings he's going to be moving in the same direction it looks like is he moving down the mineral line no going to be taking out the engineering bay then moving on into that bunker zerglings trying to move forward marines blocking the path there pulling back though some great micro it's gonna be hard lots and lots of zerglings so is he gonna do enough damage but no look at that carnage look at that pool of blood right there so many zerglings lost look at that tank fire 13 kills nine kills those tanks going absolutely house on all of those units it pretty impressive there i again i can't state enough how nice this positioning was here having that wall and then having these tanks sitting right here is absolutely really impressive from pros now pro is going to be coming out with some medevacs right now and as well some siege tanks would like to see a follow-up a counter attack from pros his biggest concern though if he does push out is that when he moves out for a counter attack he has to worry about his main base you can see here the main base not walled off zergling could freely run in unless he keeps a tank back which that would help with the defense quite a bit but otherwise he could be in some trouble stimming forward i think he was trying to take out that creep tumor before uh uh, dropped into the ground before it became invisible to him he can of course scan to take those out so he may be doing that moving forward with those marines stim back 
going down again. Sorry about that burp there, guys. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that at all. Uh, losing an SCV to those four Zerglins right there, so that's no good. Going to be moving forward with a small force of Marines, keeping some guys back in the main base here. Um, tanks are on siege right now, but he's not too concerned because if he saw a push coming, you can see he does have those tanks hotkeyed, so we could easily siege them in just one moment. Moving forward, going to be taking out some creep tumors, denying the vision here. You have to realize that creep tumors are what gives Zerg players vision, not the creep itself. Um, hey Pro cannot see over here right now because those tumors are dead, so a good job there uh, by pros denying hey pro that vision that's definitely what you want to do you don't want to give that zerg player that extra scouting information to to let them see you pushing i mean you want to deny them that vision as much as possible so here we go right now push coming out from pros lots and lots of marines we do have stim pack up combat shield just about finished as well that's going to greatly increase the effectiveness of this marines it looks like he's just waiting for that combat shield to finish and he's going to push forward just about when it's ready to finish now as far as placement of tanks go up on the high ground is really good and then having some within reach of that hatchery that way they both protect each other and are we going to be seeing that i wouldn't be too surprised if we did yes two tanks coming up on the high ground going to let them take out that spine crawler and then some tanks down here and again the idea is you want them you want it with in range of the hatchery itself and you want to be able to shell a damage but then protect it with tanks at the high ground moving forward with just a couple marines but not all of them um just trying to uh, basically trying to just bait in hey pro trying to get hey pro to push forward and yes he is hey pro trying to get us around moving forward but lots of tanks on the high ground and look at all those marines in the back reinforcing want to micro away from those bailings though very very careful pull back those marines as much as possible want to let them live all the bailings go down to tank fire as well as excellent marine mi micro and hey pro says good job and leaves the game that might as well be a gg i don't think that was bad mannered at all um, uh, hey pro is just Im as impressed with pros as i am that was some really solid micro from him and again that great wall positioning there um really allowed him to defend this expansion pretty solidly so good job by pros also good job by hey pro unfortunately that early pressure with those marines followed up by that fast expansion just allowed pros to mass up he wasn't able to deal with it properly and that's why he ended up losing the game to this push so once again guys this has been force from force strategy gaming if you like the content, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Keep an eye out later in the day for some casts for some other commentators here on Force Strategy Gaming. And as always, guys, keep watching and keep owning. It did, in fact, catch that five gate. He saw those five gateways coming, so he is aware that a very, very strong early push is coming from Torrent. Moving down the Zerglings, going to try to take out this pylon, this one stalker moving forward to try to prevent that. But no, Zerglings probably going to be able to take this down. Are seeing a warp in, though, of a bunch of Zelts. Are they going to be able to get it in time? No, the Zerglings do manage to take down that proxy pylon forcing Torrent to drop another proxy pylon. Demongus coming out with a bunch of Zerglings and a couple Roaches as well to try to deal with this push. Again, we're seeing a strong five-gate push right now for Torrent. Um, not fully sustainable for a very long time. He's going to have to curb back on his probe production. You can see here, no more probes coming out. That's going to give him those extra resources, at least temporarily, to push this out. Of course, in the long run, this isn't the best decision. If he doesn't manage to do a bit of damage right here, then he's going to be hurting economically compared to his opponent. But what he wants to do is at least take out the expansion and do as much damage as possible we're moving down with these four queens going to be using them to help the attack probably going to be using them for some transfuse as well moving down with the zergling trying to get us around force fields going down zergling still managed to sneak in though only a few got blocked out these queens are actually helping quite a bit those tran the transfuse ability obviously